Fred and Ginger? Well, you just have to wait and see. <laughs> More like freaking crack. Uh-oh. Just tell them I'll wait here as long as I can. Um, okay. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. You didn't see Alan out there by any chance, did you? No. How are you supposed to get your act together when your partner leaves you high and dry? So how is Jason? Is he with Sonny? Well, if you ask, then you know. Yeah. I also know that if he is, you're not allowed to say anything. So that was nice of him to leave you here terrified by yourself. I'm not. Jason and Michael are safe. Sonny is too. If that matters to you anymore. You know that if something happened to Sonny that I would care. He's just not important in my life anymore. But you are. What's up with you? Just waiting. Telling myself that Jason's okay. Convincing myself that I don't need the details. And that wherever he is, he'll come back safe. Yeah. Waiting for the phone to ring. Hoping when it does that it's not bad news. <sighs> Telling myself that he will be back for the nurse's ball, and if he's not, then it doesn't mean the worst. Yep, trying to pretend like you have a normal life. Planning to go to the movies and have dinner. Whatever. Yeah. You might as well plan a picnic on top of a volcano. So you just trained yourself not to think about it. Well, most of the time it works. Yep, but mm -hmm. when, when it, it doesn't, doesn't, it's... You're lucky to be out of this life. Mm -hmm.